we're going to set up MAME, fix the video scaling, configure our controls, and be playing a game in less than three minutes. No torrents, no shady ROM sites. So click the first link and then we're going to download this MAME64bit.exe. You can of course get the latest release from MAME themselves, I'm just keeping it on Internet Archive for simplicity. Now double click that file and extract it to a new directory, I'm just going to call it MAME. Now in the description, I have a second file, it's mame.ini. If your browser brings this up as a text file, just press Control S and make sure to save it as mame.ini, not mame.txt. What this does is fix our video scaling. So we have integer scaling and it disables bilinear filtering. If you don't know what that means, it just means that the games are gonna look nice and sharp and not blurry like they normally do. Just download this and then drag and drop it into the mame directory. Now click the third link and this is all the games that we're going to need. Each game has a specific abbreviated file name. Most of them are pretty obvious, but the Game History Challenge website will tell you which file to download. In this case, I'm downloading Donkey Kong dkong.zip, and then I'm just going to drag and drop that file into the ROMs directory. Then make sure you have your controller plugged in if you're going to use one, and launch mame.exe. This opening page lists everything, whether you have it or not, so just start typing the name of the game. I'm just going to type Donkey, and Donkey Kong here shows up. Press a key to get past this, and then press Tab to bring up the menu. We're going to go to Input Settings to set the controls. Input Assignments This System are just going to be the controls for Donkey Kong, and Input Assignments General are going to be the default controls for any game that doesn't have specific controls assigned. Then just click or press enter to go through each of the bindings and assign them to whatever you want on your joystick. And then because these are arcade games, you want to make sure you have something mapped to coin one and one player start. You're going to have to put a coin into the arcade game and then press the start button to start the game. Press tab to get out of the menu, that's it, we're done. Put a coin in the machine, press player one, and we're playing Donkey Kong. I hope this video helps and you never have to use a JavaScript emulator again.